everybody, welcome back to 100% Mags. So Newcastle United took on, of course, Liverpool tonight at St James Park, and it was a game that, you know, I did see in my match preview. I would thinking Newcastle would be doing damage limitation, and I was sort of right in a way. Newcastle sat back, defended quite a bit in the game, only had about 29% possession. But at the end of the day, Liverpool did have a lot more of the possession, but. At the end of the day, we'll come away from the game with at least a point in the game. Looking at the game, uh, you know, in how the game played out, Mo Salah uh, for Liverpool seemed to be somewhat off of his game. Uh, he had a chance side for side of the half time. And, of course, uh, when he did get through on goal, there was called all out to stop anything going into the back of the net. Uh, Roberto Firmino as well. Uh, had a chance for Liverpool with an absolute killer header and I thought it was going to go in at first when I uh, seen it but absolutely outstanding save once again by Carl Dolo. absolutely fantastic play by the lad and he's just really come on straight uh, for Newcastle this season he's putting in absolutely amazing uh, work rates and if he keeps that up you know You've got to be thinking, Southgate's got to be looking at him to be the new England number one. He's absolutely demolishing the Premier League at this moment in time. He's by far, in my opinion, you know, and any Liverpool fans that are watching, you know, any uh, fans that are watching from other clubs, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below as well. But in my opinion, he's by far the best English goalkeeper in the Premier League right now. He's absolutely setting the Premier League alight with his uh, performances in goal and he deserved that clean sheet tonight against Liverpool. Absolutely fantastic saves. And, you know, that's a lot coming from me because if you've watched this channel for a long time uh, from the beginning when I first started, you'll know I'm not the biggest fan of Carl Darlow, but he's really starting to impress us with the way his performances are picking up every game. He's putting in really good performances. And yes, in a few of the games where we've lost, you know, there's been a couple of little niggly bits. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not really Carl Dolo to blame for that. It's not really the Newcastle defence to blame for that. It's more, you know, looking at Steve Bruce because it's his job at the end of the day to go and give the lads the tactics to go out there on the pitch. Yes, it's the job of the players to go out on the pitch and perform and use them tactics. But at the end of the day, you know, if your tactics are going to be subpar and you've got a world-class player, you know, you're not really going to get much out of it. You know, if you take, for instance, Cristiano Ronaldo, right, and you put Cristiano Ronaldo into a team and then have Steve Bruce as the manager, you kind of get what I mean on the whole situation. It's not going to quite work the way you want it to work. And that's what we're seeing a lot this season. You know, we've got some pretty good world-class players in there like Alan St. Maxman and uh, Miguel Mirren as well. And they're just not able to play to their full potential because the tactics aren't there. The, the mindset isn't there from the manager and the performances, you know, we've seen Rafa Benitez pick up much better performances, but the game tonight, I'm not saying the game tonight was bad. It was good. We came away with a point. I'm happy with that. The game against Man City on Boxing Day, that was just absolutely poor. The game against Brentford in the Caribou Cup as well, that was poor. The other games leading up to this game, you know, they were poor, poor games. And we've not had the best of luck at the moment with the club and the coronavirus outbreak as well at the club hasn't really helped things. Uh, but we'll pick up a point tonight against Liverpool. It's a nice way to see out 2020, which hasn't been a very good year for us, uh, Geordies and for Newcastle, to be honest, in a whole. And... We'll move on hopefully to 2021 where hopefully we can come away with a very prosperous new year uh, going into that one. Hopefully we can get the takeover through the door. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the Premier League table, of course, up on screen now. 
as you can see, uh, we've got Liverpool up here in first. Uh, they've got 33 points uh, of 16 games, which is a pretty good uh, points tally. And uh, Man United's in just three points behind uh, Liverpool in second. Us, of course, are sitting uh, just down here in 14th place with 19 points out of 15 games, which isn't a bad uh, points tally neither. We're almost hitting that uh, 20 points uh, period, which means that we would only need another 20 points uh, to stay in the league. I think it's about 40 points for safety. That's usually what it takes to stay up in the Premier League. But, of course, we want more than that. We want to, we want to try and get uh, better than that. We want to try and push with team further and that's what we've been striving for a lot as Newcastle uh, fans and it's something we don't get to see very often as well under the Mike Ashley regime uh, but hopefully that will change uh, in 2021 when the takeover uh, gets put through uh, which hopefully won't be long into 2021 but we know that it will be eventually going through uh, at some point uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below as always remember like share subscribe to 100% mags hit the subscribe button it's just down in this bottom corner down here and if you can as well share the video around tell your friends about it uh, any Liverpool fans that are watching as well uh, make sure to leave your comments down in the comments below as well uh, try and keep it friendly as well down in the comments below as i have noticed in quite a few of the other videos there's been a few nasty uh pasties let's say in the comments uh not being very nice to fellow viewers of the channel and i want to try and keep it friendly down there so let's try and keep it nice and uh friendly and not too many uh, people coming in with negative comments very bad comments or trolling people in the comments section till next time remember like share subscribe and how are the lads <laughs>